up guys, Bob's back with another episode of Retro Hunting. Uh, a slightly different episode again today because uh, I had promised the wife that I was basically done. I've got all the consoles that I want, the Virtual Boy. She knows that I want the Atari Jaguar, but the odds of me finding that like in the next week or so are pretty slim. So I said I'm basically going to focus on a few of the peripherals, like a multi-tap for the PlayStation, a few games for each of the consoles that I've picked up, like another Xbox... Uh, Sorry, another GameCube controller, uh, stuff like that. And then I got a little bit drunk. Yeah, you. So? <laughs> You're drunk. And I went on Carousel and I went on Facebook Marketplace. I even went on eBay. And when I woke up, I got an email saying that my bid was currently winning on eBay. And I have no memory of what I had bid on. So I very nervously went on to, went on to eBay and checked out. And to my surprise, I had actually I had bid on a Sega Pico, which I've mentioned before in a couple of videos. Uh, I want a Sega Pico, it's the interactive educational system and basically I want it so I can give it to my daughter when she's a little bit older um, and it's a cool way, they have like Winnie the Pooh and the Ben Stein Bears and Judd Jungle Book, stuff like that so it's a cool interactive way to learn with her and my bid is only 36 US dollars which is 280 Hong Kong I uh, am flabbergasted, there's only one day and six hours left on the auction so if I win this, I'm super pumped about it uh, because the ones I've been looking for have been going for like maybe $1,000, maybe even more. So if I can get this for less than 300 Hong Kong, I consider that a huge win. Uh, and then the other one was on Carousel. I went on Carousel and I found a 3DO, a Panasonic 3DO. And it's not a console I've ever had as a kid or even really knew about growing up. But I looked on Amazon and they're going for about 250 US dollars. So I thought he was asking for a thousand Hong Kong, which is um, more than I was willing to pay. But again, I was quite drunk. I messaged my buddy Jesse and he said, just go in at 800. See what he says. Because it also included 10 games. Uh, he assured me everything was working. So I bid $800. And again, when I woke up, bang, offer accepted. So whew, I'm going to pick up. The, the 3DO this afternoon. Uh, I still have another day and six hours with the uh, Sega Pico on eBay. Um, so today is going to be an epic day of game hunting. I cannot wait to pick this stuff up. Catch you guys in a bit. So here is the listing for the Panasonic 3DO. Like the console looks super duper clean. All those games with it. Uh, when I messaged the guy, he's, it's been up for seven months. So when I messaged the guy, I literally, I didn't even say anything. I just made an offer of 800 and within a minute, he accepted it with 10 games. So I was just like, okay, cool. Like, where can I meet you? So I'm going to meet the guy tomorrow. And uh, yeah, it should be fucking awesome. I'm super pumped to grab this console. I know they're super rare and you don't really hear about them much. So uh, yeah, let's see what we get. And here is the eBay bid that I randomly did drunk. See, 280 Hong Kong dollars, I'm all about that. The Sega Pico, looks like it's still in the box. Looks in pretty good condition, has a couple of the games, still has the manual. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. If I can get that for 280 Hong Kong, I'll be pretty chuffed. So, uh, yeah, we still got a day and six hours on this, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how we do. That'd be an awesome little early Christmas present for Lucy. Woo! Okay team, Bob's here, what's going on? Got an absolutely epic day of hunting today. Um, a buddy of mine, Dylan, who I've uh, known for years, literally messaged me uh, yesterday and just said, do you have a PS3 out of the blue? I said, no, I have a PS1 and 2, and he goes, well, do you want one? Because I'm about to chuck mine out, it's just been sitting gathering dust. So I said, hell yes, that would be absolutely amazing. So he's literally left it behind the bar at our local pub for me to go and collect which is where I'm on my way to now. 
uh, and we're going to pick up a PS3. And then in a few hours, I'm also going to pick up the Panasonic 3DO. <laughs> going to be an absolutely amazing uh, addition to my collection. And yeah, I'm super pumped. Cannot wait to go grab that. See you guys in a bit. Not a bad day in Discovery Bay at all. Going to go watch the UFC, pick up the PS3, and then head out to grab the uh, Panasonic 3DO. Amazing day for hunting. Super excited about this one. Here we go. Kegar! Okay team, boom! PS3 acquired from the pub. We have a bit of a Christmas market going on here, but I'm now on my way to go pick up the 3DO. Let's do this then! What? What an absolutely beautiful day for game hunting. Look at this weather. Middle of November, my ass. Come on, let's go get me a 3DO. Panasonic 3DO acquired. Look at him, he's all wrapped it nicely. 10 games, he sent me videos of him testing each game yesterday. This is the guy I wanna fucking do some more business with. So we got, look, 3DO on one side, PS3 on the other. What a fucking day, let's go, come on. Retro Barbs hunting again. Okay team, just got home, so uh, let's check out my haul. So, Deal, the absolute legend, gave me a PS3 for free, uh, PS3 Slim I believe. We'll check it out now. And then I picked up the Panasonic uh, 3DO FZ10 model, uh, which over here is the better one. To be fair, I didn't know much about these consoles. Um, but uh, I was drunk when I checked it out on Carousel and boom, I'm super pumped to have it. So let's uh, see what we've got. So let's take a look at the haul. First off, we have the PS3, which Dill, my buddy, gave me for free, which is just amazing. It's also cool to see that my mates are actually uh, watching watching my videos. And he was just say, he said, yeah, I'm just gonna chuck it out. It's just been gathering dust. Do you want it? I wasn't really looking for a PS3, but someone offers you a free console when you're collecting them. It's kind of crazy not to. So we've got PS3 with the power cable and the wireless controller. Boom, he did say he couldn't find any games or anything, but I don't care about that. I can find games. Working console, hell yizzle, PS3 for free. And next up we have, oh, we move on to the Panasonic 3DO. Now, honestly, I didn't know anything about this console. Um, but the guy showed me, a, he's actually a legend. He sent me a video of each game tested and working. And then, yeah, so we've got the, the console here. 3DO Interactive Multiplayer. He's even put the date of when he was testing it. We can get rid of that. Because I know it's been tested. It is actually in really good nick. What I do find quite strange about this console is there's only one um, controller port. But, hey, what are you going to do? Top loading, CD. So we've got the PS3 and the 3DO. And the cool thing about this is he gave it to me with like 10 games. So let's see what we've got here. There's one stack. And second stack. Plus 
Whoop. Panasonic 3DO controller. Now this is a console I not only didn't have as a kid, but I didn't even know about. I'm gonna leave the um, the adapter and the power cables, whatever, the SCART label, RGB labels. But there we go. With the controller, and now let's see what games we have for this as well. Supreme Warrior. Oh God. Something special. Sailor Moon. Oh, my wife will love that. Um, Starblade. Kind of looks like a uh, Star Fox-ish kind of game. And then let's check out this second uh, bundle. Nova Storm. Another space battling game. Slam Jam 95. Now that just looks like amazing. That looks like a NBA Jam almost. The ultimate 3D fast break. Uh, this one I'm pretty stoked about. Demolition Man. Oh, it's, I think these are copies, which uh, I'm not really fussed about because, as I said in a couple of videos, I'm not about collecting just to have the collection. I want to collect games that I can play. So if these guys work, then I don't care. Oh, always nice to have. Street Fighter 2. Have that on pretty much every console these days. And then we've got Overdriving. Yeah. And last one. I never had this game, but I heard about it on the PS1 uh, and stuff all the time. Gex. So, uh, yeah, a pretty epic haul of hunting. So we've got PS3, uh, Panasonic 3DO, and 10 games. Now, that is what I call an epic day hunting. Super pumped to have these to the collection, and I will catch you guys again soon. Peace. Okay, guys, just a quick update on the Sega Pico eBay bid. Um, I did actually get outbid. And I've realized now it's just as well because I've just seen um, the official title, which I didn't obviously look at before. And, um, well, yeah, check this out. So, it finally went for 59 US, so almost double what I was going to pay. And what I didn't notice also is, look at that shipping. $89.50, which is another 700 bucks. So this would have been over 1000 And the final thing which I didn't look at, Untested, no power cord. Jesus Christ. Imagine how dumb a purchase that would have been. Um, so pretty lucky I got outbid on that one. Um, yeah, so we're still, on the out we're still on the hunt for a Sega Pico. Doesn't necessarily have to be in box. Uh, but yeah, kind of dodged the bullet there. The wife is pretty happy about that. That would have been a thousand bucks. And then I would have had to get a new power cord and some games. So uh, result... Still on the hunt for a Sega Pico.